Hey guys, it's me, Zell, and we are going to be watching another episode of The Bad Batch. Today is episode four, Cornered. So yeah, and then just a quick note for those who have been here before on the channel. Yes, I have a new background. I have recently moved. So sad news is no more. My display will be back here. We're going to try to do something on this wall maybe, but just thought I'd point that out because I'm sure somebody will notice. And uh, we'll see. Eventually Penny might use this to lay down, but she's still adjusting to the new place. But anyhow, uh, we're here to watch the new Bad Batch episode. Last episode ended with, um, at least the very end, Omega got a new room and it was quite the contrasting episode of what Crosshair is like now and then what kind of the Bad Batch, the crew that wasn't controlled by the chip what they're kind of trying to figure out what their new kind of uh, guidance is. Um, and of course, missing their member Crosshair, you know, that's their brother, their family. So yeah, it will be interesting to see how we carry on with the show, but I'm excited to see what we have in store today. So let's get right to it. By my calculations, the closest planet is- <gasps> Pantora! Well, Pantora it is. I read it in the captions. I realized I reacted early. Pantora it is. Yay! I know it's on Pantora. Cool. The music and the vibe's really cool. Oi, what are you doing here? Not starving! <laughs> Our priority is scrambling the ship's signature key. Just need to scan your ship in. Are you sure about that? I suppose I could skip that step. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Aren't you, uh, oh. getting something? Payment huh? for this little... <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. We're getting the hang of this screen. Aha! Uh -huh. Adjusting. <laughs> this is Raspar 6 at Row Station. Uh-oh. Word on the channels is you're looking for a certain modified <gasps> Omicron class attack shuttle. I don't know where to find it. But that information oh, Fennec. Is, uh, I'll make it well worth your while. Transmit the coordinates and make oh, sure they don't. Oh, snap. Not so that explosion. Echo's walking around with it's his mask on. One. And it's the only thing we have worth oh, any money. In and out, quickly and quietly. Got is that much. Cut's oh, extra outfit? Not dressed like this. Aww. Lots of kitties. Oh, no. They're everywhere, dude. Every citizen can exchange their invalid currency for imperial credits. Why do they exchange the currency? Let's go. Should be embedded below the rear parallax inverter. Just, just tell me what to rip out. <laughs> la, la. <laughs> Start with that. Oh, she wants the little toy. But I'm running a reputable business here. Hey, kid. You break it, you buy it. It's not Sorry. broken. What about your droid? Droid. Uh, he's, a, he's a military prototype. Yeah, give you two thousand. Hmm. It kind of sounds like a. We need the credits. Jim Cummings. The supplies, I'll give you the signal. I am worth more than two thousand. <laughs> Make it four thousand. Three. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> It's like space pugs. <laughs> Cute. Hey, wait, wait. Oh no, not her toy. Oh snap. Oh no. Oh. Hey, watch it. Watch out. Sorry. You seem lost. Get your toy. Omega. I beg your pardon. The droid in charge. Oh my! <laughs> Quiet. You're right. Cute. I will report his deception at once. I'll take your complaint. Dear me. Dear me. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh. My mistake. Got one yeah. hidden away. The galaxy is a dangerous place to be on your own. Yeah. It's a good thing I have my friends. I know. If you're alone, 
You should come with us. Now that's the best offer I've had in a long time. Oh. Oh, Omega. She's so pure and innocent. Omega. Oh. Oh, there's one of my friends now. Omega and I were getting to know each other. Omega, come on. Oh, snap. Oh. Citizen. Citizen. Halt. The ship ready to go. Well, it's not technically a ship at the moment. Wow. Unless you have a team of maintenance droids, it's going to be a while. I can help with that. Hey. Yeah, We're going into the field. I'm not capable of removing our restraining bolts. That's why I'm the supervisor. The view. Get back inside. We are not a droid. You got me for a bargain. He was bamboozled. Poor guy. This is cool. Watching her hunt in action. There you are. Wrecker. Aww. Cute. Uh-oh. I'll handle her. Cracking the knuckles. Oh. oh, Wrecker. Seems she is a uh, more agile and maybe smart. Oh. Cute, look at him. No, don't kink. I give the orders around here. <gasps> He's like, okay. Rip. I do feel bad for that guy because most likely he's probably not getting it back. You can thank me later. Uh, you made her do that in the first place. Ooh. Ooh, and her blaster. He's just jamming. I love it. Okay. I guess she's getting the job done. Oh. Screw you, Fennec. Screw your engine. Oh. That's such a pretty town, too. Thanks for the help, boys. Yay! <laughs> I am back in charge. No, they can't leave. Oh, they're leaving. No. Oh, Don't go. She hasn't paid me yet. No. That's what you get. <laughs> Dirk Wad. It has to be a bounty hunter. Yeah. And you appear to be the target. Me? Hey, don't scare the kid. <laughs> we have to find out if she is. Riker's so protective. If they come back, you know how to contact me. Well, you got something. The target got away. Cool. Awesome. Well, that was a cool episode. A lot of action was cool to see Fennec. I'm pretty sure, and honestly, I it's probably for better that it's the Caminos. Caminoans. <laughs> You know, people on Camino, it's probably them who are trying to find her because they were trying to say how they want to make clones that are viable since their original, you know, DNA is deteriorating. So they wanted, you know, obviously Omega. I'm, it's probably the better than on the latter chance of potentially Palpatine, but let's just hope not. I think for her sake, it's probably better that those people do, but who knows? Maybe not. A lot of cool actions this scene. Uh, poor Omega went through so much. A lot of running, um, clinging for her life. Uh, that, there you go, you want an action? There you go. We'll see how she reacts next episode, how we'll get to see how she felt about that. Um, but reality in the world, 
um, is not always such a nice place. Why do you have a blaster? To protect myself. The galaxy is a dangerous place to be on your own. Uh, especially now that she's the target and she's going to be hunted down by bounty hunters, which we saw with Fennec, uh, how devastating that can be to uh, anyone that comes in her way, comes on her path. So yeah, not too much more to say about this episode. It was really fun. Uh, c comedy highlight was to see Echo take on the droid persona and then uh, command over his new droid flock to um, put this ship back together. That was pretty hilarious and um, sad for the shop owner, but I guess he got out of there better than it could have been. And yeah, as we saw them all being protective of Omega, like we would expect Wrecker being extra protective and of course Hunter in dad mode. So yeah, it was a uh, all around really, really good episode. I'm as usual, I'm loving this show and I'm excited to see more. I hope you guys are enjoying this show as well. Uh, some of these episodes are always a little, obviously a little bit less dense. I'm still like, obviously my favorite episode still is the first one because it was just so, so much um, great stuff going on there. And just being longer, you were able to kind of fill it in a bit more, but yeah. Uh, anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. If you want to show support, you can do that with a thumbs up and commenting your thoughts and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll be, of course, continuing to watch Bat Batch as it's releasing. And we have Loki coming out in June. Looks like it's going to be on Wednesday, so I will be trying to get those out as soon as possible. But yeah, I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.